Hello guys, this is Code and Code, and this is video editorial for the problem counting pets. Taken from lead code, the problem category is uh, bit manipulation. We'll be solving the problem using dynamic programming in linear time. Right? Mm -hmm. So the problem statement is quite simple. You are given an integer n and you have written an, uh, a result array of size n plus one. Okay, where answer of i right, uh, should be equal to the number of ones or number of set bits in integer i. Okay, so the same you can understand using an example test case. Let's say n is equal to 5. So we'll return an answer array of size 6. You see, the answer of uh, 0, 1, 2, 3. This is answer of 3. Okay, is equal to number of set bits of 3. Number of set bit in binary representation of 3 is 2. That's why answer of 3 is equal to 2. As simple as that. Okay, so we have to build this array and return it as a result. Now the question is how we are going to solve this problem. So as always, I'm going to give you guys some hints so that you guys can think the solution yourself. You don't have to be completely dependent on me. You guys can build your solution and code it. Okay. So how we are going to solve this problem is that we'll be thinking the solution for even and odd, odd numbers separately. Right. For even number, I'll be giving hint, which is this. Find a relation between number of bits in x and 2x. Okay. Like what is the relation between the number of bits in 5 and 10, 3 and 6, so on and so forth. Okay. Now, you see, number of set bits in 5 is 2, by representation of 5 is 101, by representation of 10 is 1010, by representation of uh, binary bits, set bits in 5 and 10 both are 2 only. Similarly, for 3 and 6, it is 2. What happens when you multiply a number by 2? What happens to its binary representation? Only a 0 is appended at the end. For example, 101 multiplied by 2, 1010. 1 1 multiplied by 2 1 1 0 why that happens see binary numbers are base 2 so when you multiply a number with its base 0 is appended at the end for example let's take an example of decimal numbers 98 multiply it with 10 because base is 10 you will get 980 0 is appended at the end take any number decimal hexadecimal or octal number just multiply it with its base and see their representation in their respective base uh, only zero is added at the end that's why if x is having let's say m number of set bits 2x will have m number of set bits also okay so number of set bits in n is equal to number of set bits in n by 2 given the fact that n is an even number so we have found the solution for even number what about the odd numbers Again, another hint for odd numbers. Just pause the video, try to think the solution yourself. See, try to find the relation between x and x by 2. When I'm saying x by 2, x first of all is odd and x by 2 is integer division. That means if x is 7, 7 by 2 is 3, okay, not 3.5. So try to find a relation between x and x by 2, given that x is an odd number. For example, 7 and 3, 17 and 8. What is the relation between them? What is the relation between their binary representation? Okay, you can pause the video and think about it. Otherwise, of course, I'm going to explain. Here you see, each odd number, let's say n, can be written as n is equal to 2x plus 1, where x is n by 2 floor. Okay. Now, if you see, a set bit of n is equal to set number of set bits in 2x plus 1, because 2x plus 1 is n. Makes sense? But 2x plus 1, uh, set bits in 2x plus 1 is equal to set bits in 2x only plus 1. Why is that so? See, 2x is an even number. Okay, when you add 1 to it, it's binary representation. So 2x is, is an even number. At the end of this even number, you will always have a 0. Okay, all of the even number are having 0. Their last bit is 0. Okay, when I'm saying last bit, I mean least significant bit. Okay, 0th index. So this bit is always 0 for even number. When you add 1 to it, this bit changes to 1. So whatever was the number of set bits in 2x, plus uh, 2x plus 1 will have those many set bits in 2x plus 1 as simple as that okay so i can change it to this but we know that since 2x is an even number so how many bits does it have same as x right so bit count of 2x is same as bit count of x so number of bits in n is equals to bit count of n by 2 plus 1 because x was n by 2 right so for all number this is n by 2 plus 1 right and uh, number of bits in n by 2 plus 1 and for even number it is number of bits in n by 2 right so if i 
complete the algorithm so answer would look something like this i'll have an answer array answer of 0 is equal to 0 because 0 is having zero number of circuits as simple as that for the rest of the number we'll calculate it like this we'll run a loop in the range 1 to n if i is even we already know answer of i is equal to answer of i by 2 number of set bits in i are same as number of set bits in i by 2 if i is even if i is odd number of set bits in i is equal to number of set bits in i by 2 plus 1 as simple as that so this is my solution let's have a look at the code also so solution looks something like this see uh n is the input and we have to return a vector of integer i'm working in c plus plus okay so basically uh, a vector of size n plus one so i've created a vector of size n plus one right i've called i'm calling it ar doesn't matter so ar of zero is equal to zero as we discussed uh, for the rest of the numbers in the range one to n we are running to if i is odd right ar of i is equal to ar of i by two plus one as simple as that otherwise ar of i is equal to ar of i by two done and finally i'm returning this a uh, vector of integer okay so if you run this again you get an ac okay the same code believe me the same code is getting three millis uh three milliseconds here right i'm running the same code third time and i'm getting like millisecond doesn't matter okay so the same code was running in 3ms so yeah the the thing is that this is how we can solve the problem using dynamic program dynamic programming because we are utilizing the pre-calculated result again to find out the current solution okay so yeah this is how you solve the problem counting bits using dynamic programming this was all for this lecture if you have any suggestion or problem that you want me to take or any algorithm that we haven't covered on this channel quote unquote let me know in the comment section okay so this was all for this lecture thank you guys for watching and till the next video drops keep coding thank you